How you guys doing? It's me, Gunman69. Guys, the update is out. Update 4.0 is here. It's super early. This is not even a video planned for today, but I had to do it. And we're going to go over everything that's new really as fast, as fast as possible. So we're heading over to the knowledge base first. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Let's go down to the, let's go down to pass somebody because morale is in the game and we got to break it down to see what it is what it's about uh catapult there's catapult okay the catapult fires at the first target on the pass stunning it dealing area damage the target will be stunned again in nine seconds the catapult damage is increased with merge rank but its attack speed remains the same okay not too bad not too bad where's pyrotechnic he's so wait, we got catapults in there. We don't got pyrotechnic in there. I guess catapult needed a breakdown. And then we got banner lord. Okay, a mini boss with a critical damage protection error. Monsters under the error effect do not take damage from critical strikes. Grindstone, <laughs> useless. Is banner lord gonna change the game? I think he is. Okay, we got heroes in the game now guys okay and now this is the heroes breakdown really quick each hero has a set of abilities that's helped them helps you that helps you or harm your opponent oh helps you or harms your opponent in battle they are unique to each hero and can be unlocked and made more effective i put up a quick short break going through the heroes that was pretty sick check that out uh you can also use your hero's active ability in battle when their morale meter is filled to the max also don't forget that your opponent has their own hero too so watch their morale okay that's the hero's abilities now what is morale okay you can use your hero's active ability when the morale meter is full morale is generated by your units from your deck they don't have to be on the field each unit has their own morale generation stat depending on their rarity level leveling up your units to enhance their morale stat and speed up your hero's ability cool down time okay so morale is just its own separate thing that is active on its own you don't have to worry about it each card now has a morale stat on them i'm going to show you in a second okay fragments upgrading your heroes okay fragments are required to summon and upgrade heroes get from the stores chests, and the battle pass upgrading a hero also requires gold and a certain critical damage value according to the requirements you can increase critical damage by leveling up your units that's enough of that guys look at the new layout the new layout is looking insanely sick bro. let's see we click that you click your hero so we, they start you off with trainer he's common uh you got abilities companion you start with you get combat training at hero level five team boost at 10 explosive surprise at 15 okay activate cost a thousand morale let's go to the um let's go to a card let's open up a card here you can see each card now has a morale little box right there when you upgrade it goes up if this one starts at four summoner he'll go up to five morale so each as you can see to the deck right here the bottom left corner so this deck will produce 23 morale per second this one 22 23 so it all just varies i think it adds up each one so you're giving me four you're giving me three you're giving me four over here and you're giving, so they added up the added up all the morale and that's the morale of your team that boosts these are the differences here you got your hero so you got jay oh my gosh you got snowflake guys i will have all of these for tomorrow's video i already recorded today's video today's premiere yesterday so that's why it's not going to be an update it's all about throwing himself into the tense video we got catapult oh my god 331 base damage. look at the max 811 Hurl the projectile that stuns enemies in the area. We just read it, and every nine seconds, the enemy gets stunned. Oh my gosh. I love Catapult. I love that it's epic. But this is who I want to see right here. Pyrotechnic. Tomorrow's video will be a Pyrotechnic video, guys. Okay? Starting at 200 base, 500 max. Okay, with an odd number, attack speed is reduced. 
He attacks a random target and deals area damage. I don't know if I like the odd number. Even number damage is reduced and he attacks the first target. He's gonna be a very big brain deck and win condition, which is better. Okay, personalization. Let's go, five minutes, awesome. Guys, new emotes, Demon Hunter. <laughs> but they're all for in Rush for Glory. We got Harley, Ron Jeremy, <laughs> Fire, and we got Mime blowing a whistle. I think that's everything that's changed. That's oh no, uh, one more change. The league now. If you I, you probably play if you play Clash Royale, this will kind of look familiar to you. They've added uh, artworks behind your award, which is amazing. Um, that now is it. Nothing else is chilled. I forgot one more change. Avatars and frames. Oh my gosh. So you get some of these in store. Okay, nice. You get some of them in the store, but you get most of the good ones in Rush for Glory. Uh, same thing for frames. Oh, all frames are Rush for Glory events. Okay, okay. And it looks like some premium passes. No other changes uh, there. Um, and then the last change is in the shop. As you can see, you get fragments in the store now. And then they've added two more chests. You got the rare heroes chest, and then you got the epic heroes chest. So in it, you'll get fragments and you'll be able to summon your hero if you get enough. And this is the epic one where you get Jay, Snowflakes, and a few comments. Because to summon them, as you can see, where is it? Right here. You see you need 40 J pieces to get J, and you need 20 Snowflake pieces to get Snowflake. Guys, that's it for the updates. Nothing else has happened. It's epic. It's amazing. Make sure you got bell notifications on. I'll see you guys on the premiere. That's going to be intense.